Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Nikita Antoine and today I'll be doing a message for the sign of Scorpio. As always, all of my readings are timeless, so when the message finds you and resonates, then it's yours at the time in which you find it. Uh, Scorpio, I have done your reading with the I have to like stop myself from saying threads of fate. It's not the threads of fate. It's the um, Ethereal Visions Tarot and Dreamscape Oracle uh, by Matt Hughes. So we're seeing both of those in your spread today. All right, so let's look at the supporting energies. So on the split, we have the Four of Cups. Um, this is talking about like an incoming, an incoming message or an incoming, well, actually it's like an incoming download. Okay, so an incoming download. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the word. All right. So this is talking about Well, I mean, going into meditation or some type of uh, ritualistic practice that you have um, that's going to bring in a download um, and you then, let's, it's like you're recording it. I feel like I'm talking about, <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, whatever ritual, I mean, in, 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 uh, you know, whatever ritualistic thing that you do, like a meditation, receiving the download in that meditation and then recording like what that download is, okay, with the word energy. And so I wanted, I was thinking about this earlier about how the, un, the bottom of the deck is like the underlining energy, right? And then the split is like the bridging energy. And I've realized that I don't pull overall energies. And so I'm gonna do that for you today. So let's get the overall energy for Scorpio. There we go. Oh, there's two. Okay, they both count. All right, so we have, oh, that's interesting. It came out upside down. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna because I, I usually I don't take okay, never mind. I usually don't take reversals. I'm not gonna take it as a reversal, I'm just gonna take it as it is. Um so the over writing, no. Why did I want to say overriding? So this is the, oh, what is it? Underlining? Overall, okay. <laughs> the overall energy for your reading is the Queen of Swords and the Strength. Um, what I'm particularly looking at here is the connection, this connection with like another. Um, it's it's kind of, it's coming up as like familiars a connection with like a animal familiar. Okay, so the over, oh, why do I keep wanting to say overriding? What is overriding about? The overriding, overriding energy, overriding. Well, that, that kind of implies that something is like taking over Something's taking over. Okay, so this familiar energy here um, presented as the white white raven and also as the this here, the um, lion. So white raven talks about prophecy and the lion 
speaks of very a divine it's like divine love it comes out as like christ consciousness but it's a divine okay now i'm noticing that the white raven is looking towards the, the this divine love so okay here we were talking about going into a meditative practice in which you are receiving this download overriding like the energy and you then you're recording it so some type of prophecy that you're receiving especially with the queen of swords energy because she's a receiving energy and it's the prophecy entails some type of divine love or a divine um connection All right, so it's making sense for your reading because there seems to be some type of, I feel like my voice is like echoing out. There seems to be some type of collaboration that you are, um, that you're coming into. I, I feel like you're already a part of it, but the realization that's what this Queen of Swords energy is moving into the strength. It's like her head is being lifted. So it's a it's a realization that you're coming into this. Coming into this knowing and understanding of like the strength of this connection. Okay. All right. So. We're starting the reading off with the moon and and the star and this made a very prominent feature in the capricorn reading which i just did it was called like why isn't this working or something something along those lines and what it was talking about was asking well it was talking about um manifesting capricorn was trying to manifest something into their life and it wasn't coming into fruition. So there was a point in which Capricorn was asked if they would like divine assistance, like uh, a blessing, right? And Capricorn was like, no, 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 I've got this. I can do this by myself. Um, and it just wasn't working for them. So then it was kind of like they were put into, not put into a corner, but like, they realize that they need, that's what this is. It's this connection here. This connection is necessary for the manifestation or for the collaboration to come into a, a fuller expression. For, it was talking about for Capricorn to, to become the star. So, I'm seeing, I don't know particularly which side of the equation you're on in this story. It, there is a sense that it's kind of all you. It's like you and your higher self. That's what, that's what it's referring to. So you're, <laughs> but it's, it's like it's switching back and forth. So it's like, it's like exchanging places. And that's what I think this is, this exchanging place. It's, it's like your higher self coming in and exchanging places with you in order to deliver and record the word. Okay, so now we're starting to go into more of like a... Um, Delivering the word of God. Okay. It's kind of, I'm like, it's like I'm picturing, um, like, someone going through and like writing all of these teachings down. Like I, um, I don't know why the Bible is coming up. The Bible and like writing these teachings down. I think that that's, it's more 
it's more as like an example of this energy, which I don't know much about. I don't know much about that, so I'm not gonna um, expand upon it. But we have the moon here and the star, and the moon is talking about. Okay, so there's two. The moon is being paired with the high priestess. And this is like kind of one side, one side of, of the equation, the higher. This is you. This is you in embodied. You're coming across as like very um, educated like highly educated in spiritual knowledge and you um well not spiritual but like the esoteric metaphysical knowledge um and what it's emphasizing here is that you carry the energy you see how it's like this energy here is embodied within her um i don't know this this neck area so you it's talking about you carrying the energy of the moon and the moon represents well it represents the unknown it also represents like secrets things like that so it's talking to me about you um understanding and putting into word which is what we were talking about here because she's holding this book Putting, writing down or recording uh, your findings. Like the wisdom of the natural world. And with the moon, it's speaking of like timing. We're talking about like, okay. Like. Um, I don't know why clockwork or because I'm talking, I'm, I'm thinking of like the rhythm of the moon and how there's a cycle to it. So it's like recording the cycles of the moon and in doing so, like understanding and seeing the patterns that are within that knowledge. So you're turning that knowledge into wisdom because then once it's recorded and you see the patterns and you can utilize the knowledge in your life, right? And you can also share it too with others, if you please. Hang on, all my cards are falling around. <laughs> so... Um, then what I'm seeing here is like with this, this is like the star. This is like your higher self. You see, cause there's, this one is looking up at the higher self. So this one here is less physical based is what it's, it's what it's referring to. And it is being paired here with the Queen of Cups. So this energy, I mean, there's a lot of water here. It's not, it's not something that can be defined easily. It kind of takes, well, what it's talking about is that it's take, it takes the shape of the vessel. And we, before we were speaking about like, like an exchange or kind of like your higher self coming in and like delivering messages or being a like, it's that download. It's like, this is the, this is the download or um, the higher self that it's delivering the download into your into this high priestess energy 
which is presenting as you. So it's talking about how like this is, it's shaped by the vessel. And I'm noticing here now that the Queen of Cups is the one that is bringing, yeah, that's what this, okay, because I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm piecing it. I, I see a lot of the message before I start, but then I'm also like piecing it together as I, as I deliver it. So see, the Queen of Cups has the cup here, and then the cup is presented here, and then it's being brought to you. So <laughs> what, whatever that you are receiving and then recording in, you know, however that may be presented for you, that could be like in your journal or, you know, the teachings that you've learned throughout these downloads. It's coming from, it's coming from a higher, a higher source. It's this energy here. This divine a divine being simply put it's coming from a divine being and you both are well you're collaborating it's a very powerful collaboration and what i'm seeing is it's like you're they are they're the higher self or the higher being the divine being is being is presented as um very free expression, a lot of expression. Um, well, like water, it takes the shape of whatever the vessel is. So that's how it is expressed. And it feels more like open, free, kind of like a little bit wild in a sense. Um, whereas you're coming in more rigid, more structured, formal, that's what it is. It's like, this is the informal version and and then when it's recorded <laughs> it becomes formal um and i'm chuckling because there's there's always this element here this informal element that's what the download wants to be. It wants to be a very like informal, free, like I was getting this before I started recording your reading, I was getting the song. I can't remember what the song. Um, the lyrics, what are the lyrics? <laughs> now I'm forgetting. It's like basically saying what you want, saying what you want to say and like letting the words just come out. Like, like, this recording, the recording of the download is, or trying, basically what it is, is trying to condense it in, into um, something that others can understand and read and all of that is creating rig rigidity where there needs to be more openness and expression there's something in the openness and expression that is it's necessary there's something about that something about that is very necessary and it could be i'm trying to see why it's necessary I feel like why it's necessary is because what it's going to do is going to, it's going to, um, oh, it's like, it's awakening those that there's something in what you're saying or the, basically like the expression that is like lifting the head of another. Cause I'm seeing this one, this one up here. 
it's like their head is down. They can't see. And weren't we talking earlier about the head being lifted? And this dynamic here, like the head lifting up. It's like whatever needs to be said, if, if you have the rigidity of that high, the formalness of the high priestess energy, it's, it's like it's not going to trigger the others in lifting their head. It's like it's not going to um, uh, like catch their attention or you see what I'm saying? It's like something needs to catch their attention so that they can kind of go through this transformative like element. And I'm just noticing here that this is like a church. I just saw that across the screen. Did you guys see that? Okay. <laughs> it's some type of transformative element in the, okay, in the church. The church to me talks about body, like the body of a collective, because they all come together under one roof, under one body, and experience... Well, they're experiencing this here, this divine love. This is very interesting. It's talking about now I'm starting to get like, like there's a lot of reference to like Christianity and um, like the Bible, Christ. And now I'm getting a reference of like, speaking in tongues is something like that like like just allowing the expression to come out because when that when that occurs that's what is like i guess it's like it's catching the attention of the other and so this could all be happening like within just within you because this all looks like it all looks like you. So you might find yourself, especially in this, this receiving the download, um, you might find yourself like spontaneously speaking or especially with this, the word, the word talk to me talks about like speaking the word. Um, but since it's depicted here as like writing, you could find yourself spontaneously like it's like automatic writing, but trying to conceptualize it and and put it into a framework that uh, others would understand. I'm just I'm kind of I'm laughing a little bit because in, earlier in the reading we did the the framework of the reading, which was the underlining, the overline, the overlining. <laughs> the overall and the split energy um, of the reading. And that is that is the container. That is the, the defining element of the reading. And I was tripping up on the word overriding. And what's wanting to happen here is an overriding of that framework. Because then once it's past that point, it can open up and be like fully, like I'm seeing this being up here. It's like right now it's presented a stone. So it's like inanimate. And what's wanting to happen is it's wanting to bring life into this bringing life into this inanimate object. Okay, hang on. There's like, there's something with these wands down here. Because on the table, it's presented as, it's presented as the, right? On the, <laughs> On either side of this four of wands is the high priestess and the um, queen of cups. 
So both parties are coming into the church. Okay, so church can, I remember I was talking about the body, but the church could just be talking about like the sacred space. So both parties are coming into the sacred space offering, well, they have their own wand, each have their own wand. And then they're both looking towards uh, creating something new. Because I'm seeing this as like a two of wands and a two of wands. And then they both come together and they create the four of wands. So the two of wands talks about like you have already established um, your passion, right? So this one's passion right, is of the um, seeking esoteric knowledge, like really just like going out and exploring, exploring everything unknown, right? And then this one here, their passion is, um, I, it's kind of, it's a little difficult to see because it's, it's very undefined. Um, their passion is exploring like the psychic realm. And with the star energy, it's making me think of like, um, like energetic transfers, which is kind of like what that download energy is. It's an energetic transfer, transferring of energy through the psychic realm. So that's where these two that's where these two are coming in. So they both have their own passion and then when they come together, they're both seeking what they're 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 seeking what the other has, right? So this one is seeking the high priestess they're they're looking for each other. The high the Queen of Cups energy is looking for the high priestess energy because the Queen of Cups, since it is kind of like very free and out there and uh more it doesn't have a vessel or a shape that it can take unless it has a vessel. So it's seeking the high priestess out because it needs um it needs a vessel for them to communicate through and then the high priestess is seeking the queen of cups because it's it's almost like it's the next stage in the journey it's the next unfolding because i'm seeing it as like she's holding this book here and that's talking about kind of like the Akashic Library. And it's like the high priestess is wanting to turn turn the page of her like journey. So she's wanting to start a new chapter. She's already explored, you know, like she's already explored some stuff, and this is just the next um the next frontier. That's what it's talking about. The next from Tear. So they're coming into a super powerful collaboration in which I'm, I'm wanting to say that it's like others are witnessing this because it's in the church. So that it implies that others are, are coming to the spirit, to the, uh, what do you call that? Sanctuary? No, 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 hang on. Um, it's like the spiritual space. Hang on. <laughs> I don't know why I'm losing the word. I just said it earlier. You know what I'm talking about. Others are coming and they're wanting to see this. They're wanting to watch it. And... Something in it is going to, is going to like trigger them into some into like an awakening process. And it's like the, you're 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 like helping their like spirit to awaken because I'm noticing the hands are all around the feet here. Um, the feet are ruled by Pisces, and Pisces is the spiritual energy. 
So it's like their spiritual energy is awakening. It's like they they need to see. It's like you're making believers. They need to they need to visually see something like like speaking in tongues. They need they need to hear it or see it in order for them to like awaken. Like making like making believers is what it's kind of talking about. Okay. Holy cow. Well, all right, Scorpio, I'm going to um, pull some more cards for you. Uh, you can find the link for that in the, I was going to say the description. It's not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pin it to the comments. Um, so you'll find a link for that in the comments and I will see you soon.